Good morning, guys. We are back with another Ben's haul today. Kathy was mm -hmm. able to go to the Ben's for how many hours this time? Five hours. Five hours again, so you're <laughs> making some good time there. Yeah. And she's gonna share with us what she found. And we've got kind of the mm -hmm. same setup as last time. I got a new Hulkins. Oh, I got the new Hulkins, and these that's right. have a little top thing. My other ones don't, so that's cool. Like a zippable, yeah. closable lid. So I'm gonna sort this stuff into them like we did last time. Man, look how like nice and crisp I they know. are when they're brand new. I like, don't even wanna take them to the post <laughs> office because. Yeah. Get you can kind of see there's the old one back there. Yeah. It's kind of Floppy. not really square anymore, but so, yeah. cool. They're blue. It's hard to tell down there because the lighting, but they are Very pretty like blue. a navy. What would you call that? I think they call that midnight blue. Midnight blue, yeah. Like a cobalt almost. All right. We got Reese here. I just. <laughs> I think we'll just keep in. Um, yeah. I think I'm just gonna keep this because every time I go to Target, I always want to buy this and it's probably like 30 or 40 bucks at Target, but it was 69 cents at the bins and it's new sealed. Brand new sealed. And it sealed. only sells for like five to ten dollars on eBay plus shipping. So yeah, yeah, I want to play this. Great. So, you want to play this with me? I will definitely okay. play it with you. Thanks. Okay. We have that other uh, Disney. The Snow White mining game. And which that one's really fun. The boys that love that game. That worth a lot. You yeah. should put a screenshot here because, like, if anyone ever finds that, <laughs> that was worth like 100 bucks. Our son found it at a garage sale for five bucks. Yeah. And we I decided to keep it. We wanted to sell it, but it's really fun. And yeah, so we'll just keep that. Okay. Uh, this is a Burton hat. So it is, the, it does have its tag cut out, but. Okay. I might take this to Play Doh's. I don't think Uptown Cheapskate takes hats. I'm not sure. So I'm going to. Most of the stuff's gonna go to Uptown Cheapskate first. Um, okay, so yeah. that's what one of those. Yeah. Probably what's, your, what's your setup? You got your yeah. buy sell trade. You're doing that again, right? Yeah. But okay. Most of it's probably Uptown Cheapskate. So Plato's did take that corduroy bucket hat, and I mentioned the other time they took two hats. So they did say they like hats. So mm -hmm. got this one. This seems like right up there, Alley. Psychedelic. Yeah, this is just Neff brand, but hopefully they take those. Uh, this is Justice for Once Upon a Child. Uh, we'll do one of these for Once Upon a Child, one for Uptown Cheap Okay. Um, this is Chico's, and I'm thinking of listing this one on my own just because it's 100% wool, and Chico's mm -hmm. was doing pretty well for me, and it's in good shape, just has a couple yeah. linty things, but... It's got the button yeah, there. Yeah, it's a really nice red for, like, holiday. So I think I'm going to list that because I could probably get 30 on that on my own, even though it's kind of boring, but... I think I might try this on. It's American Eagle, just like the soft and sexy line. I love the stretchy clothes like this. So I'm gonna throw stuff I'm keeping over there. <laughs> He's like, was that a treat? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say the T word. <laughs> These are just some little girls, BCBG shorts for once upon a child. I didn't count the items. So this whole haul was $185 even. Okay. And yeah, I, I tried to count, but it was super dark when I was putting stuff in my car and there's like no lights in the parking lot there, so. That I daylight did. savings, huh? Yeah. <laughs> who's who's used right. to that already? <laughs> and all you people who don't have to do it, you know, you don't need to brag, we get it, we get it. <laughs> but I do think I probably have close to 180 items. So it's probably, a, again, around a dollar an item. Yeah. Uh, this is that Natural Life brand where I sold like the skirt and like a dress, but this is just a, like a t-shirt, which is not, if it was a cooler piece, I'd probably sell it on my own. I'm gonna hope I sell trade takes this, although it's a little bit pilly, so they might not, but hopefully they do. Oops. That was, I was gonna say, you put it Wrong in the bin. Once Upon a Child. <laughs> uh, this is Starter for Once Upon a Child. This is American Eagle. It's a little crop top. So, um, and again, I only bought stuff I would be okay listing on my own if they don't take it. Yeah. So, like that American Eagle top, it would sell for like probably maybe 10 bucks on my own, but mm -hmm. hopefully they take it. So this is just Carter's, um, little Adidas kid shorts, Walmart brand. Uh, this I'll just list on my own. I mean, bras at the bins cost like nothing. So even if I can get like 10 bucks, I'm pretty happy. I don't think this is anything special. You know, okay. It's probably like 10, maybe up to 15. This I just thought was funny. I don't even know if it's branded, but a little mushroom, thing. mushroom. I don't know what you call this. A crop top? I don't even know what kind of top you would call this. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like 
it's not like branded, but I, I feel like this is something that Play-Dohs might take, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, these all list, I don't know. I mean, I could take these to buy, sell, trade. Cause I don't love listing like tall boots like this. Mm -hmm. I just find them hard to photograph. Um, they're not like, I don't know. I think they're kind of meant to be a little bit distressed looking. So the brand is Aldo. Aldo. I don't really know. I've never sold it, but they are real leather. They feel like a nice buttery soft leather, mm -hmm. um, but they're also a small size, which I don't love. So, you know, I might actually try those at the nice. I'll trade first and then. Yeah. I'd say you don't I'm love it. Sell them if I have to. But yeah. Uh, and I have our kids try these on. These are actually Burton kids' little gloves, mittens. Oh, cool little so, monsters on them. Yeah, I don't know if they like mittens or gloves, so I'll ask them, but these need washed regardless, so. Honestly, though, those I could probably sell for 15 to 20 bucks, so yeah. I'll, I'll sell those if they don't, if they, our kids don't need them. This is Lululemon, just like a crop, I guess. Like a, I don't see a size anywhere, though. So it doesn't mm -hmm. have it in that spot, like I was saying. The mm -hmm. rib tag is cut out, so I don't know that buy sell trade would take it because of that. And I don't, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll try in there, but I doubt they'll take it. We'll see. Okay. I'll list it if I have to by measurements, but yeah. Uh, this is the Baylor. Baylor Bears. Yeah. Uh, I've sold a couple hoodies before and they sold around 30. Obviously this is just a tank and it's women's, but I mean, it's cool. It has a backside too. Sick of Sick bears. bears. Yeah. It's in really good shape. It honestly doesn't really look worn. So I could probably get 10 to 15. This obviously by sell trade's not gonna take. It's not even local, so. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, this will be for Once Upon a Child. Once Upon a Child, just Walmart brand. Silver. Um, I'm gonna probably take this device I'll trade. It's new with Tag Maurice's, just like a little kimono thing. Okay. So very sheery. Yeah. See, it's like I list that on my own, but it's probably like 15 bucks or something. Aww, easy. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> leave um, me alone. <laughs> oh, these. These are disgusting. These are Lululemon. The pilliest. <laughs> Look at the end, like, they're oh, just yeah. disgusting. Yeah, those have seen better days. So I was thinking about these for their trade-in program or whatever since mm. I... So that last shirt, I said I was going to do it with a, a viewer commented that I don't think that they take, like, teas or whatever, maybe. Mm. So I just redone and did that. Anyways, I think she was saying they do, like, jackets, leggings, things like that. So I don't know. Probably these to try for that, but, yeah. Okay. Are you gonna try to wash it first? Yeah, I'm or, gonna wash and it. And then see if you can um, sell. So can yeah. That. Um, these are Lou and Gray. Just like a, I was thinking about trying these on just a lounge pant. A little bit pilly. So yeah, I wouldn't have bought these other than that. I was gonna try them on. Mm -hmm. Just to wear around the house. But um, the bicycle trade did take my Lou and Gray piece the other day. I don't know if that was based on brand or just it was that linen like jacket thing. Mm -hmm. So that might have just been a cooler piece. Mm -hmm. But they did not take the Not Your Daughter's Jeans linen jacket things that were almost the same. So I don't know if okay. they're buying it based on brand or whatever. You're slowly decoding yeah, what they I'm take. Yeah, trying to figure it out. <laughs> and I think, honestly, every day is different, whatever they need that day and stuff. Yeah. Uh, this I was just thinking about keeping up with. Oh, my God. It's a new tag, just Nordstrom Rack dress. But um, I don't know this brand. It, it was decent materials. I was going to try it at Buy, Sell, Trade. If not, I'll list it. It's just IRO. I don't know. So yeah, it has some wool, some cashmere and things. It has these cool... Little sequin? Yeah, and it's in good shape. Little tunic sweater. Um, these are men's Allbirds. I was gonna take these to buy sell tree because like Allbirds don't really sell super well anymore, but yeah. the insoles are not the original. I mean, they might still take them, but... I don't know, I, I guess I might as well try mm -hmm. first. Cause like I could probably sell these for 20 to 30, but there are a couple models of all birds I would still grab. I mean, obviously I would grab these at the bins even to just sell for 20, but yeah, yeah. Um, I'd rather trade them for a better pair. So we'll try those there. Uh, this is Texas, Texas shorts. Texas flag, yeah, but it's just Magellan Outfitters. I'm gonna have to sell these on my own since they're not like a local thing, but. Yeah. 
I mean, who doesn't want to wear a Texan? There's gotta you be sure they won't it. take stuff like that? I feel like, I like the Texan that. flag is pretty popular. The California flag flag is popular. Yeah, I could try it. I mean, I'd rather them take it than me. Selling, yeah, so. I, I'd let them try. You know. Yeah. Uh, this is just Walmart, but um, yeah, they took a lot of my Walmart stuff. They took that tie dye top and stuff. So this is just basic, but I feel like this is. Stuff that people wear every day, so. Mm -hmm. uh, this one probably is still my own. It's a Halara dress. I don't really know what it's gonna go for, but since it was new at Tag. Just like a little athletic dress, has the built-in bra and everything. Okay. Very wrinkly, I might toss it in the dryer. But, yeah. Uh, I think at least 30, maybe more on that. Okay. Yeah, and this is cute. I shared it on my Instagram. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, it's like vintage Winnie the Pooh. And so cute. Look at the snowflake Look at that, buttons. Yeah. Look at those buttons. <laughs> so, very cute. Uh, this is probably, honestly, 20 to 25. I will sell that. Uh, this is a sick kids, like a little skater brand or something. So for, I'll take that. Probably just a once upon a child, though. RVCA. Yeah. Um, what are these? Oh, these are an Eddie Bauer crop. So they did not take that squirt the other day. Although when I went to list it on my own, I noticed it had like a couple snags right here by the pocket. So that could be why not necessarily because they took the pants last week or mm -hmm. I don't know. Again, trying to decode like what they will <laughs> or will not take. And these are a crop. So my guess is they're not going to take them. I bought them knowing I could, I would list them on my own. So we'll try. Yeah, I mean, it could be even down to the which employee's looking at right. it, too. And so. so that's why I sometimes just put it back in another yeah. time. So, yeah, every time I've been, I've been like three or four times now to up down Chief's Gate, and it's been a different person every time. So, mm -hmm. um, these are, I think these are men's. Ooh, right? Who, that's who keeps men's, commenting that like buttons. ladies left? That's what she said. Ladies said. left. I don't. So I don't know. Left side was where, right. where the women. If it so was that's a, that's right. a right side button. Right. So but this, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's men's. Do you think these are men's or women's? Um, this is, well, they're 32 what's the by size? 32. 32, so 32. That's 32. That men's, makes right? me think it's men's because that's how jeans are for right. men. But this looks like a woman's style. Yeah. <laughs> and Which they just somebody just cut these like this. Yeah. Which is very possible. So, I don't know. I mean, you know, look, <laughs> when, remember when skinny jeans first came out, or at least before they made skinny jeans for men, that's when I stopped, like, looking at jeans. <laughs> I don't know much about I them. I mean, I was just wondering because, like, I don't know if Basil Trey will take them if somebody did that. I yeah. mean, this is a Levi's 501, which is a nice jean, but. Yeah. We'll see. Hopefully they take them because now I'm like, I don't even know. Because those holes are like them. really low too. Right. On the knee. So. It's and I know interesting. like women will buy men's jeans and then cut them into cutoffs and things like that. Yeah. So. I'm trying to buy sell trade. Yeah. Uh, this is just a basic Patagonia dress. So I'm going to take that to buy sell trade. They had a bunch of this stuff there. Like this is the Patagonia I wouldn't necessarily pick up at like a regular thrift because yeah. it's too boring, but. If yeah. they can take it and I can There's no it like better. thing outside showing that's Patagonia. Right. Yeah. Just the tag. So. so people when they buy Patagonia, they like they like you to know it. <laughs> um this is a Pendleton blazer actually basically the same one I sold the other day, but a different size, so I can easily copy my listing over Sweet. And my title and stuff. So yeah, that should be an easy listing. That one sold for twenty something the other day. Okay. That's cute. And this is also Pendleton little, little pencil skirt. So, hmm. Yeah. That's You're probably, finding quite a bit of Pendleton lately. I have been, yeah. So that's probably at least 20. Um, this is Free People Movement. No, Free People Beach. Which I don't think I don't see a size tag. <laughs> so I hope I still trade digs it, but they probably won't for that reason. Yeah. That's beachwear? I don't know if it's beach wear. I don't know what Free People Beach is. Hmm. I wouldn't really say it's... I don't right. know. Anyways, Free People has a bunch of different lines. So. Okay. I know they love Free People. I'm hoping they'll look past the no size and figure it out themselves. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I was going to try this on. It's just Lane Bryant, That's but nice. little flannel, super soft flannel thing. <clears throat> um, this is Kids for Once Upon a Child Reebok shorts. This... This kids Carter's flannel. I was gonna try this on. If not, I was gonna take it to Bessel Trade. It's Lauren Conrad. So like Kohl's. 
Okay. I'm sure you hate it because it's a teeny tiny florals that make you think I, of I don't know what it is. It's just my, <laughs> I don't like the really tiny yeah. patterns like that. And then this I just thought was, I don't know. I don't even know this brand or anything. I was hoping by Cell Trade would take it. I thought it was just a cute. I like this style of shirt, so. Yeah. Yeah, so not, not the TV really static. for reselling. <laughs> okay. Uh, you saw my Instagram, yeah, you saw this. It's yeah, I'm gonna give you some space here. Super disgusting. Oh, you made me so much more space, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I moved the board game. Um, <laughs> Like, what is this, like a boat? A sled? <laughs> yeah, it's a, boat. a whale? Is it supposed to look like a whale? <laughs> so you said this is like a... You said this is... A bougie baby bed. A bougie baby <laughs> bed. So it's not like a it's changing like, pad it's or like anything? It's a co sleeper thing to oh. put in your bed. So you put this in your bed? I think so. Okay. I, was, I couldn't have one when we had babies because they were... Well, this is $300. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't spending $300 on baby beds. Yeah. Um... But yeah, so this is super disgusting. I'm going to have to wash it. Luckily the cover comes off. I didn't open it to see if, you know, the inside was gross too. Yeah. But yeah, I'll soak the cover for sure. If not, I think you can honestly just sell the, the pears and things, yeah. Yeah. So I did an Instagram poll because I wasn't sure. Like I know these used to be really, really hot, good resellers. Yeah. And when I did a um, eBay search, it does seem like the sell through still over 100%. It was hard for me to decipher like if somebody was just selling the outer part or the whole thing mm. or what. And also this says Docketot Grand and most, even though I was searching Docketot Grand, um, most of the ones that were showing up are Docketot Deluxe, which I assume is a lower end. Like I think or Grand smaller. would be like the best one, yeah. Yeah. So this- I'm thinking size maybe? Do they have different sizes? Probably. So anyways, and those ones were selling 50 to $80 pre-owned, so. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. <clears throat> Obviously not in this condition. I don't think I could get that, but if I can clean up the cover a little bit more, I think I could yeah. probably get around 50 at least out of this. Um, the bins charged me $8 even just for this, so. We'll see. Okay. Hopefully I can turn that into something, but yeah, this, I wasn't sure if it was still a thing, cause like, you know baby stuff is always yeah baby stuff <laughs> has a like whatever's popular is like for it, like a minute <laughs> it's very fast right because so. i remember the hottest thing when we had our kids was that mama Roo. right which i saw one of those thing. in the bins yesterday and i almost got it but it was missing the whole yeah so it was just the whole base and i've sold just the top part once for the like mold, 20 yeah. 30 bucks i was gonna see because i think my pole's still up yes screenshot that for you so okay. I said our docket hot still thing. So far, 151 people said yes, 79 no. So pretty split. And yeah. then a couple people had messaged me that, I don't know if it was a recall or what, in 2022. Uh -huh. So recalls. Recalls, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, they're still being sold. When I bought that, I thought we would sell it locally. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I don't know. What we'll do with that. You know, I'm going to show you guys. Them. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, the potential profit out of yeah. it, it's worth whatever you spent eight on it, eight bucks. So. Yeah. We'll we'll give it a shot. We'll let you guys know. Stay tuned. <laughs> got this guy. I'm keeping this. <laughs> so Chris said he wants to keep it for his video game room. Like, yeah. I think I could have sold this for probably fifteen to twenty bucks. So. One of the one of the classic movies he made from. Made me watch that this year. I did not enjoy it at all. Honestly, I did not. <laughs> yeah, those movies don't really hold up well. <laughs> Had a few good laughs, but. Yeah. It's funny how movies are way different from when you're a child to right. when you're an adult. This is just a beanie I bought for myself. This, I don't know the brand, but it's 100% alpaca. Oh no! Oh no! I swear that wasn't like that yesterday. Uh oh. You think we could trim it off or? Hopefully. Okay. So. Well, tell I us about it. I didn't it. even look up the brand because I'm, <laughs> once I saw it was 100% alpaca, I was like, it's worth probably alpaca at least 30 one, bucks. Yeah. It's 111%. So I'll try to deal with that, but. Okay. Didn't weigh a whole lot. Uh, I'll probably take these to buy sell trade first. Just some men's Nike shorts. They do need a wash, but I'm just gonna put everything in here for now and then sort it out after. Yeah. Once upon a child. I don't think buy sell trade will take this because it's kind of like I don't want to. I'm gonna say grandma e, <laughs> but like <laughs> maybe they will. I just think these are so cute. It's just yeah. Crofton Borrow brand, but like I love these little fleeces. 
It really is cute, and I was perfectly fine to list this on my own. So. Mountain Grandma? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is just a Walmart purse, but it was new with tag, and I feel like green velvet for the holidays. That Vysel Trade might take it. If not, yeah. I could probably get 10 bucks or something out of that. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Little baby thing from Once Upon a Child. This is for my kid because at Halloween he, well, he was Harry Potter. Yeah. But I said we're not buying him the scarf at Target because it was ten dollars <laughs> and it was like not a necessary part of the costume. Right. The costume was like twelve dollars. <laughs> right. So like to get this scarf. And like, because the costume already had like the red Gryffindor stuff and everything. Yeah. So he was very sad that he could not get the scarf. So I found this one, which now Halloween's <laughs> over, but he still likes Harry Potter. So. Yeah. Uh, this is for Once Upon a Child, little old navy cardigan. This I'll have to list on my own, but a USC. It is like a spirit jersey, but it, yeah, just cropped. Okay. So, I thought that was cool. It's probably $15 or something. This is old navy, new at Tad. Hopefully they take it, but if I list that, probably 10 to 15 I think I just bought this for myself. I just like basic tees like that. Uh, Once Upon a Child Carters. This is super cute. I could probably get 10 to 15 on my own. It's just Lauren Conrad's kid line from Kohl's, but this stuff sells really well. Kindness blooms from within. Yeah, super cute, but I'm gonna take that. Once Upon a Child. I don't know this baby brand, but it feels a nice, like, kicky pants almost. Bonzi? Bonsai, maybe? Maybe. I might look that up. Is it bamboo? It feels nice. I don't know if it's bamboo. Um, rayon from bamboo, cotton and bandits. Yeah. Well, look at that. So I don't know. I might look this up because if it's worth like fifteen, I might list it on my own. It's so cute. Yeah. But I'll put it there for now. <laughs> I think I was gonna try this on. It's just a jockey sweater. This. Um, it's not in great shape. Like I need to wash it. And this eyeball is coming apart because, like, you see that. Bro's got to go see the eye doctor. Super tight. Um, and this is, like, beanbag feeling in its feet. Mm. I don't know if it was it. I'm sure. Somebody want a hippopotamus for Pretty Christmas? Cute. So this is the brand. But these are super expensive little baby plushes and stuff. Mm. I don't know how you say that. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> if you find these, they sell pretty well. So, like, honestly, this is probably still $15 after I clean it up. But, yeah. Okay. What do I got going now? I don't know. <laughs> I'll just put that in my cell myself bin. Uh, this is Peter Millar warmth sweater. So is this one? That's a right hand zip, so. You would say men's, so men's? A uh, men's side zip, yeah. I mean. But it's so small, so I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's shrunk. Right. I don't know. So because of that reason, because I feel like it's men's zip, but it seems like it's women's that I want to take it to bed. I don't know that Peter <laughs> Millar makes women's. They might not. It just seems so small. Maybe it's youth? I don't think they make youth. Anyways, it's 100% rainable. I mean, there's yeah. small men out there. Okay, but a large should be a <laughs> universal like, size. Oh, it's a large. I see. Right. Yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. <laughs> yep. This is a little Gymshark sports bra. Hopefully, Fizzle Trade will take that. Little Nautica blazer, I think, you know, for Once Upon a Child. So cute. <laughs> uh, this was a pretty cool find. I don't know the brand, but I could tell it was a nice coat. It's got like, what is it called? Yeah. You can go Some ahead and say it. Wolfstad <laughs> Frachten? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Something sounds very German. Yeah. So it's a wool blend. Um, it has like this cool embroidery on the yeah, back. Yeah, it looks like one of the these buttons. acorns or something. Yeah. Some oak leaves. So I saw a similar one. Well, it was basically the same coat, but like in a cape style. Mm. It sold for over 100 or like 99 or something. I sent you a screenshot. But, yeah. Um, so I don't know. There's not a lot listed. The seller seemed good. I, I think there was only nine of this brand listed on eBay currently. Yeah. And close to that sold as well. So um, I did. I feel like somebody shortened the sleeves. Like hemmed them up. Yeah. They seemed what just super think? short. I tried this on just because I was like, it seems so short. But yeah. So I'll have to mention that. But otherwise, I mean, this mm. might be a hundred dollar piece. So I thought that was cool. Yeah. I wonder if they're hemmed. If we're able to unhem them or remove the hem. 
<laughs> like I wonder how that, when you hem something, do you have to cut material out or is it right. just kind of like folding and sewing in place? Cause it might be something we can look into. Of that bag shoes, so Carter's once upon a child's Target once upon a child, uh, Target once upon a child, Target from once upon a child. This is a Hannah Anderson pajama set. Oh, it's like I found both pieces, yeah, but it's a little bit faded, which a lot of their fabrics do fade. For that reason, I think I'm gonna take, like I would normally sell the Hannah stuff on my own, but because it's a little faded, I could probably only get like 10 to 15 and it, a two piece thing is harder to photograph in general. So I'm gonna hopefully yeah. take it there. I also feel like even though that's like a season, oh, it's Christmas, that's yeah. coming up quick. Right. The likelihood of you getting to that it. by then, yeah. <laughs> I know, I just uh, brought in a bin from our garage the other day that I've been meaning to list because it's a bunch of our kids' clothes, which are Christmas, and I need to list those because if they don't sell this year, they're not gonna sell them next year. Yeah. Um, this is Wooden Ships, which I believe is like an anthropology brand. Wooden Ships. Um, it's just a cute little sweater thing, but I'm gonna try that out by Sell Trade first because I could probably sell this for at least 20 on my own, but okay. I'm not that excited about it. Alright, these are shoes. I'm gonna find a ton, but... Oh, oh yeah, Reese moved. Reese! <laughs> <laughs> you almost got, you almost got smashed, Reese, you bear. <laughs> You're okay. You could, you could stay there. He wants to go outside, I think, but can you wait a little bit? No? <laughs> you gotta wait, bud. <laughs> uh, we got a couple pair of natives, so these are youth size. I don't know. Usually if they get a little bit, I don't know, what, what would you say? Deformed? Like? Yeah. I Malformed? Would normally pass. I don't think these are too bad. I'm gonna take them to Once Upon a Child just because of that reason, though, but I'm gonna wash them first. Um, so, yeah. They'll definitely take them still. Mm -hmm. And then same with these. These are more of an adult size, but a smaller one to where I think Once Upon a Child will take them. They did take those men's Tommy Hilfiger flip-flops the other day. Uh, these are little baby Doc Martens. Oh, wow. So cute. Um, I don't know, somebody threw these back. And the only thing I can see is just that they're dirty, which that's easy to clean off, but. Do you test the zippers and stuff? Yeah, everything else seemed fine, so. Mm. Um, so, yeah. yeah I mean I think you know even though I need to clean them um, these are probably at least 20 I've gotten up to 40 on even kids stocks but these aren't in amazing condition yeah so I would say probably 25 to 30 okay uh these I honestly just got to see if you wanted to maybe just, like, little, I would like some house shoes yeah little house shoes they don't really look worn or anything they so. might be too warm though I don't like hot feet well I mean we just figured if you need them Run out, out, take the trash yeah, out, like that, get the so. newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody do that still? <laughs> um, you're making me have flashbacks of delivering newspapers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was one of uh, Kathy's jobs in our young my married life. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, That was a bad decision. <laughs> I ended up having to help you a lot. Yeah. That's a tough job. Yeah, that is a doing, job. You got to go fold like all the newspapers. Job. Yeah. Yeah, just like the time of day that it is. It's yeah, that was, we were young. We were trying to pay off some debt, working until midnight or past midnight. And then yeah. Going to your regular job in the daytime. <laughs> oh, good times. Uh, Remember being able to do all that kind of work? What's crazy is that, like, the whole night hours? of doing the newspapers, I could just sell, like, one dirty <laughs> thing and I could make that much money. Yeah. Uh, these are just some sketchers. Uh, let me just throw shoes over here. Okay. I'm gonna list all these. These are some kids' keens. So, oh, those sketchers probably 20 to 25. Same with these keens. Um, these are Scarpa. Oh, and they're Gore-Tex. I didn't even notice they were Gore-Tex. Sweet. So, dirty, but I'm not really gonna clean them up. I'm just gonna list them as is. Yeah. I... These might be like 50 plus. You get closer honestly. on the dirt so they can kind of see. With yeah, I mean. They're not, look at the threads though. Like they're in good shape. Yeah. They're just dirty. So, yeah. Cool. Don't be afraid to list dirty. Yeah. Uh, these are just a high top Converse. I just need to lint roll them, but in good shape otherwise. Probably 20 to 30. 
to use our Clarks, but in really good shape. Cool. So these are probably 20 to 30. These are vans just missing their laces, but otherwise pretty good shape, like a gold. Yeah. So, because they're not having laces, probably like 20 or so. Good so you're going to sell without laces rather than putting in yeah. some cheap dollar store laces? I think so. Yeah. I think the cheap dollar store laces look like wraps. So. Yeah. And then these are Red Wings. So. Ooh. Um, they're not in amazing condition, obviously. There is like a little bit of wear and tear on the inner ankle here. Mm hmm yeah, on both sides, but like not horribly. Like you could probably put a patch on it. I've sold way worse condition Red Wings for good money. Yeah. So. Yeah. Tinselit Ultra. Yeah, definitely a safety toe. So. so I feel like Red Wings has like almost, not more, but like two different kinds of lines where they've got like the run of the mill yeah. shelf stocker and then they could do even like custom ones, I think. So if you look out for the custom ones, that's where the real money is on the Red Wings. So these should do well, I mean. But even, yeah, even just the these ones. Even in this condition, I would imagine no less than 60. Yeah, always be on the lookout for red wings. Okay, this I think, oh, these are two little kid shoes for once upon a child. I've got Old Navy. Little and jellies. Just little Walmart shoes. This I was just gonna keep for our kids' room. Cool, little basket. Yeah. Oh. Oh, sorry. She got see. you. <laughs> now he wants a tummy rub. <laughs> oh, rub a band. Missed. Uh, this was just like a little Melissa and Doug. Mm, they're probably way too much. I was gonna say, if you go once upon a child to take this, they probably would, but they might not give me that much. So, cool. uh, I could probably get like 15 bucks on like posture eBay or something. Very cool. Very cool. Brings up some childhood memories. Mm -hmm. Not that one, but no. the other one, the more popular one. Is this your last bin there? I think so. Yeah. Sweet. Look at all that stuff. <laughs> uh, these are Hannah Anderson. I'm to, yeah, I'll probably list these on my own just because. Skateboards? Yeah, well, once upon a child, would only be like two bucks. I could probably get 10 to 15. Uh, it's a little spot. Little spot? <laughs> little spot. Okay, I'll probably take my then, but I need to wash them first now, probably. I don't know. Mm. These need a good lint roll, but they're woman within with not new with tag but they have this so technically no yeah. tag i would say not like a cool piece you know it's just a basic black short but yeah okay uh this i was gonna keep for Sai maybe first hosh gosh it might be a little bit too small for him actually and it's kind of close to the one i got him the other day so we'll just <laughs> put that once upon a child uh, this is new with tag target so hopefully the bicycle trade takes that this I just got because I sold the one the other day, although now Halloween's over. Yeah. But it's the exact same one, so I figured it'd be an easy listing since I already have my title and everything. So just a couple photos. I mean, I feel like that could also be like pajamas. Yeah. You know, just a hooded pajama. Or maybe somebody wants to wear this to Disney. Yeah. <laughs> There's okay. weird people, for sure. No. <laughs> so weird to wear character things to the theme parks that are the character related. A uh, Walmart shirt for once upon a child. These are kids' gap jeans. Really cute floral embroidery. Yeah. These I was going to try on side. He hates jeans, but I love jeans on him. Uh, they're Joe's jeans. If they don't fit him, I'll take them once upon a child. This I was super excited to find because I've never found the brand, but it's a great brand to look out for. Um, I'm not going to try to say it, but I'll mm. have to Google the pronunciation later. Q U. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, um, I wish this was like a jacket or something, but this hat honestly is probably about 20 um, pre-owned as is. What kind of brand is it? Uh, I, I think similar to Patagonia, okay. Arcteryx and stuff. Okay. So. Yeah, jackets would be like hundreds. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Good, just, be on the lookout for that one, yeah. guys. This is just bird inside, but like um, nice performance pants, shorts. Kids Levi's, once upon a child. These are outdoor research and they're actually kid size. And I'm just gonna have our kids just try those on, but I can probably sell them for something if they don't work out for us. Yeah. I don't think once upon a child takes some um, hats, even if it's new, so I'll probably list that on my own. Even if it's Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I had a price on it of $16.99, so I'd probably get like 10 bucks plus ship. Um. Um, old navy leggings for once upon a child. Hopefully, Bicycle Trade takes these. They're hot topic, but mm. 
I'm not super excited if I have to list those, but I feel <laughs> yeah. like somebody would buy them. Yeah. These I just got because they were new at Tag. Just Wrangler cargos. Um, I don't know that that what. I don't know that that is what Last Hell Trade is looking for, but they yeah. did say they were buying a lot of men's the other day when I went. So. Okay. We'll feel see. it out. Yeah. yeah. I just feel like their men's that they want is more trendy stuff, not like Wrangler men's cargo shorts. So. Yeah. Little Nike onesie. Once upon a child. These are. Well, let me find the other ones. I don't know this brand. I think it was just gunmetal. It was, when I was trying to look it up, not, I mean, a lot of stuff was showing up. Nothing that was, like, the same brand or whatever. So okay. I hope the Bicycle Trade takes this for that reason. I feel like it's, like, a trendy piece. So. Yeah, it definitely looks like one of those made-to-be-trendy yeah. kind of things. Uh, this is a cute little Lauren Conrad dress. I hope they take that. But Cool. If I have to sell it, it's probably like 15 to 20. This is Walmart for Once Upon a Child. Old Navy, Once Upon a Child. This is a Knox Rose blouse. Hopefully they take that. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna list on my own if it comes clean. It has a bunch of like deodorant. Oh. So, I mean, I think that will come out, but it's NYX. So Nyx. I think this would sell pretty well. I didn't look up comps, but yeah. I just wanted to wash that. Ah, uh, Once Upon a Child, they always take these little baby shoes. Those are soft soles? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they take pretty much any shoes. Uh, these shoe. are seven, but like Bermuda denim shorts. Uh, I was going to try this on. It's one of those state of mine hoodies, the mm. Colorado. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So soft. The lining on these is always so soft. So it has a Colorado flag somewhere or no? Uh, I don't know if it has a flag. It does Just say right Colorado there. there. Yeah, the other ones. So are do we know that it's for every state? Yeah. Like, I mean, I think they have them for every state. Okay, so they just embroider it and... Okay. Yeah. The other one, those last two I found that were pink. I tried them on. They, I liked them, but like the pink, I just didn't look good, but I like blue. So. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is Tommy Bahama, which uh, they took like a couple of the Tommy Bahama pieces from last time, but not all, so... Okay. Again, I'm not sure what they're looking for exactly, but I could probably sell this for 15 and 20 on my own if they don't take it. Nice work shirt. Yeah. Um, this, I might try this one. It's just old and navy. Uh, yeah. I, I just like wearing these around the house and stuff, so <laughs> I don't think by social they'll take it, but I'll try it there first. Okay, yeah, so these are Nike shorts. They're, they're women's, although I feel like the Bicycle Trade might think they're men's. Okay. Um, but they weren't, like, going for a lot on their own, so I was like, if they don't take them, maybe I'll just put them as a lot for, like, 20 um, but yeah. Nike Fly. Okay. Yeah. So, hopefully they take them. Uh, oh, this is a cool thing. I showed it on my Instagram. New old stuff, like a vintage... Blanket. Lion King. Yeah, those nasty feeling blankets we had when we were kids. <laughs> like, these are not comfy at all. What's the material? Polyester? Yeah, acrylic and polyester. Yeah. <laughs> like, the two worst things ever. Yeah. If you want to sweat uh, all night... Okay. <laughs> Um, I think there's a date on here, but I mean, this has got to be old. Like, this has to be, like, the original Lion King came out what? Yeah. So it's Lion King. I think this is the second Lion King, oh, right? Oh, okay. So maybe Simba's not Pride. Pride Vintage. When did that come out? Um, when did Lion King Simba's Pride come out? The Lion King 2 Simba's Pride was released on October 27th, 1998. Okay. That, so. so still yeah. 20, 25, maybe? 25 years old? So, I thought that was cool. Uh, you know, I try to look up comps, but I didn't know what to like search for. Like, I just was searching these words and it wasn't really finding much. Yeah. Everything I was seeing was pre owned. I think I've seen pre owned sold in $50 to $60. I'm hoping this is like a $100 blanket. Really? So, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Now, if it was the first Lion King, it'd be worth more, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you had that one. That was the one that your your vintage shirt was a Lion King shirt, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that sold for one fifty. For a T-shirt. I was told that I was way too low. That I sold it for. <laughs> yeah, our Which friend. I saw another. I have another cool Lion King thing in here. Our friend Drew from Profit Monsters yeah. was like, "You could have sold that for like three hundred yeah. bucks." <laughs> <laughs> but I got it for a dollar, so I'm like, "Hey, I'm so happy." <laughs> uh, no. Little Carter shoes for Once Upon a Child. These are Old Navy. I was gonna try them on. Otherwise, buy sell trade. Try this at Bicycle Trade. I think they sell this at like 
Sierra Trading Post and stuff. I don't know if they sell it anywhere else. Just like a little athletic dress. Okay. Um, this is for once on a child, little cat and jack. I think I need to wash this, but it's like a men's roar button down. Yeah, the inner collar is gross. It was hard to tell if there were stains on it at the bins, but I figured it was worth like a dollar chance to, because these can sell for like 30, 40 bucks. Yeah. But because it's a light color, yeah, there's some stains here. I'm gonna wash it and then I'm gonna try to probably take it there and hope they take it, just because I'd rather list like the darker colors of these. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just a HP laptop sleeve, but it was new. I saw it sold around 10 bucks. I thought that was good enough for an yeah. easy listing like that. I just got this for our kids, even though they don't take lunch to school currently. <laughs> a Minecraft lunchbox? Yeah. This is a cool Burton bag. Ooh. Some substantial bag. buckles on that. Yeah, so like this, I literally asked the people next to me, I don't even know who they are, but I was like, uh, do you guys see like, because I was trying to like Google lens it and all the other ones have um, the little plastic snaps that yeah. look like this. I think you just put it through here, but it just seems like it's tight. So I, I don't think it's missing anything, but I can't get them through, that seems but yeah. Like, yeah, difficult. I'm not sure. Nothing from my here. I didn't want to leave it because it's a really nice bag. Huh, yeah. We'll have to look into that a little bit. Because oh. if it's like that, that seems very <laughs> right. frustrating. Right, so. Here, let me just get in my bag real quick, yeah. 10 minutes later. So otherwise, I mean, it's a cool bag. Yeah. I would probably say that's at least 30, but I didn't really look up comps, yeah. Um, these are some kids Levi's. These are some Nike goggles. <laughs> cool. I mean, some sun sunglasses goggles. <laughs> little Walmart dress for once upon a child. Crew cuts for once upon a child. This is that fishing brand. Hook. Yeah, this is a dirty hat, so I'll wash that and then hopefully 10 to 15. I like that hat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And a jamboree for once upon a child. A little Oshkosh. These are not the vintage ones, but still cute. Corduroy. I'm debating listing these on my own because I can usually get like 15 where they're going to give me like two. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I do like easy listings like this. So I might list those on my own. Okay. These are some really cool. These are vintage ones. Look at this. But they're just dead. <laughs> some acid washed I think it, those are pretty cool i know they're like ripped up and stuff but i think that makes them cooler these ones do stay made in the usa i really love those i haven't yeah. looked up comps but I'm, i honestly think those are probably at least 20 maybe like 30. wear those with like the one hanging down would be so cool yeah coolest kid on the playground <laughs> i found a bin with a bunch of little vintage baby stuff so i'll have to list these on my own but yeah super cute cherubs by wonder that one. Easter dress. I think this one was my favorite. This is Polly Finders. Hand smocked. I love the little floral on that one. That's so cute. Mm. Honestly, these are probably 15 to 20 on their own each. Yeah. So, oh, I like, I like these little sunsuit things. And they're, they're little, easy, right? Yeah. Like $15 doesn't seem yeah, all that great, so but two, three photos, you don't measure them, do you? Mm, I might because they're Might because they're vintage. Yeah. But yeah, just throw a quick measurement up. Uh, these are just for once upon a child. Uh, dang it. <laughs> this got all smashed. This was, I only bought this because it was like seemingly in really good shape, but then I unmade it in really good shape by <laughs> shoving it in a bag with a lot of stuff. <laughs> so it's like a burlap. Yeah, round ah, shop shop. That's but cool. It doesn't really look worn, so hopefully like 10 bucks. Uh, blue and gray. I bought, so hopefully they'll, you know, we'll take it. <laughs> Uh, this is a cute little vintage sweater. Look at that, little teddy bears on it. <laughs> That's cute. That is really cute. Um, this is basic, but it's J. Crew men's, and since they were saying they wanted men's stuff, hopefully they'll take that, but otherwise I can probably get 10 bucks. These I need to wash, but I figured it was worth the try. They're can-can. I think they fell on the bin floor. They got some dirt on them and stuff, which I don't know if it'll come out, but hopefully. Cool. Uh, more vintage, little baby dress. Yeah, but like think, like I could probably, I mean, yeah. this is at least probably $50 right here. Yeah, it's like 20, 30 minutes yeah. worth of work, yeah. Yeah, 
Even bagging and inventory. Oh, a little pink Victoria's Secret bra. I don't think the Vicel Trade takes bras, whereas like they take sports bras, but I don't think that they take that. Yeah. So this is offline by Area Squirt, and honestly, I did look this up because I thought that these did well, and I think I could get twenty five to thirty for this, but I'm just like, do I want to? Like I. I don't know. Like it has some deep wrinkles and stuff, and yeah. I don't like showing that. So. I also feel like it's it would be hard to photograph because yeah, this black. detail in the front with it being right. black, you can kind of see it. So yeah. So yeah, and the sell through on these is really high, but I think I'm still gonna take it there. Yeah. Uh, this was kind of cool. It was, you need to wash it, but it's Corvette. A Corvette. It's a Viking yeah, jacket. That's the brand. I don't really know, but I did look up Viking Corvette. And I saw sold from like 40 to 60 for a fleece like this. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it should clean up nicely. But yeah, I've noticed like a, any kind of like cooler yeah. car things. Corvette. Yeah, there's a, there's, that's a niche crowd, you know. Like if you find like Range Rover, G. Yeah. Like stuff that people like collect. With the cult cars, followings. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, Geo Probably Metros. Not like a Chrysler, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Honda Civic <yeah>. crowd. <laughs> Although you never know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is just an MMA hat. It was in good shape, so. Is that affliction? No. No. Kind of. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I can get like ten to fifteen. I'm I'm trying to show you this last. Uh. <laughs> uh this is smart wool i need to look it over better for holes i'm sure there's a hole somewhere i tried i didn't see any but yeah it definitely needs a light roll yeah um but the, the logo just to show them oh yeah it's the little guy the little so always look guy. out for that um i mean this is probably a 30 dollars piece if yeah it doesn't have any holes. that's worth trying to photograph yeah. even though it's all black <laughs> Uh, these, I was debating listing on my own. They're Vineyard Vines Men's, like a nice performance short, but then they're also basic, so mm -hmm. I could take them there. <sighs> yeah. I'll look them up. If they're over 20, I might list them. Okay. Uh, this is just for Once Upon a Child Walmart. Once Upon a Child Jordash. These are for Connor, some H&M sweats. Hopefully by Sultry Dixies, but they probably won't because they're like cropped. <laughs> Just Under Armour leggings. These are for Once Upon a Child, Under Armour. This is for our kid because he loves Minecraft. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are just more of the blankets they can keep in the movie theater room and I don't care about them. Yeah. This. Was is this the fun, the finale? Another Lion yes. King oh, piece. Yeah. Um, yeah, vintage, kids, USA made, size 4.5. I mean, it's super faded, but I mean, that's to be expected. Double sided. I love it. Aww. Look um, at Simba before his dad died. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, happy. if this was an adult piece, I would say hundreds of dollars. Yeah. It was a kid's piece, but like um, my friend on Instagram, Christy, we'll put her screenshot up here, but. She was like, list that high. And I was like, really, even kids? I said high, like $30. <laughs> She's like, no, like hundreds. And I'm like, really, even kid size? And then she was just showing me some eBay comps. So, you know, they're kind of all over the place. It might yeah. be $30. It might be over $100. So I'm probably going to list it high. I got it from the bins. I yeah. can't wait forever. For this it is a sell. good situation. Yeah, right. you, you spent... A dollar? I'm waiting for some millennial with money that wants to match their kid <laughs> with theirs. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I spent like nothing on this. So... If I can we can, we can sit on it for another it's 20 cool years. It's cool if so. it just sits in my store, yeah. <laughs> yep. And honestly, I might try this on site. I know, uh, just to it take is a picture, cool. not to like have him wear it out, but yeah. So I Would this, really this cool. is not considered all over, is it? Uh, I don't know what all over print is called. It's but, front back yeah. for sure. But it's, it's good. It's yeah, all it's, the different fabrics faded, going but on. It's not like in, I mean, like. It looks vintage, which is yeah. what you want it to do. You want it to look the mm -hmm. age, so. Cool thing. Uh, somebody had left this because it was just like right on the top of the bin like this. They must have looked at it and been like, oh, it's probably too faded. <laughs> yeah. That's cool for sure. Yeah. Hmm. So honestly, what I think is like this and then maybe that like wool jacket is basically covers my whole bin saw. Yeah. And then, yeah. So what do you think? I think that's awesome. <laughs> you did pretty good for five hours. So. Pretty cool things to find. Um, yeah, in our last video, we kind of asked what you guys wanted to see. We did get a lot of Ben's hauls, so 
Um, but we also got some more, you know, like what's holds and stuff. So yeah, so I am gonna go because it's only 10 a.m. right now. So yeah. I'm gonna I have to ship anyways, and Chris has to edit this video today and put it up. So I'm like, I'll just record the other thing, which is basically what's sold in the ship with me part. So we're doing all of the things. So we're doing all the things. <laughs> so you'll see that video <laughs> on Friday. So. Yeah, that'll come out Friday. See what's sold. Had some good sales. Yeah. Some stuff updates from the the last Ben's haul and stuff. Yeah. Where you is she uh My trading trading up yeah. from. From what she's doing now, like the buy sell trade up all the way to a uh, over one hundred and fifty dollars sale. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Yes. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you, and we'll see you guys in that next one. Bye. Bye.